Good afternoon, my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows how you can place pictures or images inside of word processor files on the left, the center, or the right, and when you make EPUBs that they will show up in the manner that you want them to. It's very tricky to do that because the EPUBs do not seem to conform to what was in the original word processor. I've got a reader here that is showing a completed word processor file that has been converted by Calibre into an EPUB. It is a novel and it has a characteristic where each chapter has got a picture. I do have additional pictures in here besides these, but as you can see they're consistent. I've got the chapter name in three lines, in bold, underlined, and then under that there's a picture, and then to the right of each picture there is an indented paragraph which will go down and then it wraps around as needed. And the additional pictures in the book which do not uh, begin at each chapter are also on the left. But I wanted to do that to be consistent and wanted it to look not quite so goofy. I did have them all over the place and I thought it looked strange. So I thought it would be better to be aesthetically pleasing by putting all of them on the left. But you don't have to do that. You can do it any way you want to. I am now going to go to the internet and get a picture. When I go to the internet, I look up the word that I want to see, and then I select an image. Well, I've got an image here, and I'm going to copy and paste that, and I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to go Save Image As, and I'm going to put it on my desktop, and I'm going to call it something, and then I hit Enter and let's see if this works. I will diminish the internet and here's the picture. I'm just going to tap on the picture to see if it looks good. Actually when you make an ebook I suggest that you write the entire ebook out in the word processor without pictures. Then make yourself a folder and import pictures into that folder and then you can get all of the pictures from that folder. In this one instance, I just put it on my desktop. That looks pretty good. I like it. Now I'm going to go to the word processor file and I'm going to import the picture. And I'm going to put it right here at the beginning of this paragraph. Now, when I put it in, I'm going to put it into the left and again the text will be displaced to the right. On this one occasion I am going to allow this paragraph not to be indented. You see it's indented here but when I put it in it will not be indented and then I'll show you how to get that. Actually all you have to do is hit enter, go up a line and then move that paragraph mark way over to the left and I do that by hitting control 6. Control 7 brings it back. Since I've talked about it, shoot, why don't I just go ahead and do so? Well, insert picture from file. It's on the desktop. That's the only thing on the desktop. Let's grab it. Open. And now I lost my place. This happens quite frequently. This is a characteristic of perhaps Linux, perhaps Ubuntu, perhaps LibreOffice, perhaps Writer, I don't know. I have the word in here which is my search term where I want to be and there I am. Now this picture is way big. I want it small so I right click. I go to picture. Let's make this bugger four inches but I want to keep the ratio. Never forget that otherwise you'll get an elongated or squashed picture. Four. I don't want it in the center. I'm going to put it left. Do not use from left. Use left. And make sure it says here to paragraph. Now we're going to go over to wrap. And I'm going to go from none to optimal and then I'm going to indent my indentation amount which is half an inch and then I hit enter and there it is but I'm still not done 
Now you have to compress graphic and see how it was originally 5 inches. I want it back down to 4 so I hit calculate. OK. If I do it again they're both going to say 4. So it's a done deal. Now that is finished. So I'm going to say control S save. I'm now going to go back over to Caliber. I'm going to close the viewer. I have to remove this book in its entirety so I'll hit delete, write, enter. Slowly, slowly it's gone. Now I'm going to add it again and I have to find the book. One second and I'll get that in there. I'm putting in the ODT file and that's all there is to that. After I hit enter it puts in the ODT file and the ODT file did not go in. I have to do it again. I don't know why. There we go. Hit open. There we go. Now it's adding. Perhaps I didn't tap on it well enough. It takes a special skill. This is taking an extraordinarily long time because I have an old, old laptop and I am using Voco screen to record the screen and that takes up a lot of power. Well, I've got it in. Now I'm going to convert. And when I hit convert, I have told it already all of the parameters that I want. I just do the same thing over and over and over again. I hit OK. And when I do, it takes a minute, and then the EPUB will be over here. If I did everything right, that new picture that I added will be in there. You would, of course, only have to do this once if you added in, say, 100 pictures. And then you will go to the EPUB reader and check your work. You may have forgotten to do this or forgotten to do that, or you may not like the picture or accidentally made it too big or too too little or perhaps it is on the wrong side of the page you forgot to say left instead of right or center or something. When this is done I'm going to check the ebook version of that one picture. I've already checked everything else and I think everything else has been okay. Normally this would have finished already but as I say with Voco screen cooking it slows everything down. Also it's hot. My computer gets very hot. Here we go EPUB. Oh I hit it twice sorry. I'll close that one. Full screen. I am going to go look at everything in the table of contents but you know I can search that word. And there it is. Doesn't look bad. Looks really nice. Actually, I, I like the way this thing works. It works very well. The best looking version of this on a phone in Android is FB Reader. The best version of this in Toto would be on an iPad. Uh, I do also have it on a Kindle, a black and white Kindle, and of course that does not show the pictures very well. I do not have access to a Nook. Uh, a Nook would probably be very good too. My name is Pop and I've got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics and I'm right now these days goofing with EPUBs. And I thank you very much.